hello and welcome to this really really short tip on how the producers of Game of Thrones could have prevented themselves from getting the shitstorm they just got for the Starbucks cup or the coffee cup, we don't really know, that was left on set. So this is the scene with the cup. And I'm just brighten this up so you can see it a little bit better with this exposure slider. It's not an effect, it's just that you see it a bit brighter. Okay, what we have to do first is to mask out the cup. So let's go to the first frame, make a quick mask around it. Also around the shadow here. And let's go to none for the mask settings so we see what we are actually masking out. But I don't want to roto this out. It's just too much for this quick tip. We can simply track this. And if we haven't selected our mask, so if we have selected nothing, we can go to the tracker. And you see that we have our standard tracking tools here. But as soon as we click on the mask, it switches to a mask tracker tool. So we can just click the analyze forward and you see it tracks the mask. Perfect. So let's just wait a few seconds here. So now let's just remove this with the new perfect tool, the content aware fill video. And if you type in content aware fill, you may see that you won't find anything because it's not an effect. It is a separate window down here. And if you don't find it here, just go to window and there you should have it, content aware fill. So let's just click it, set the mask to subtract and I'll just drag that window over here and you can see that now we have a representation of our mask here and this is what the content aware fill will try to replace. And for the fill method we want to remove an object, so object is just fine. We could expand the alpha here. So let's just give it a little bit like two. And next thing we have to do is to generate a fill layer and just let After Effects do its magic. We see that it is analyzing now and after the analyzing is finished, it creates all the frames for our removed cup. And I'm just zooming out so we can see the whole scene again. And remember, we are still brightened up. So let's watch this. Looking really, really perfect. And keep in mind, this is how it originally looks. So you can't really see any cup at all. So what do you think? Is this scene better with the cup or without the cup? Let me know. And if you like this quick tip, just feel free to subscribe to my channel because then I can just do more of those quick tips and I really love doing those. So now I wish you a lot of fun removing stuff in After Effects. Mm -hmm.